so last time I did a draw with me, um, I got a lot of requests from people um, to do a video about how I make my special autofill action script, which does this. Uh, select a shape and it fills it for you. Um, you can do this without a script, but the reason I don't like it is because, see, if you fill the inside and then you fill it with a gradient, or if you make a shape and then take the the paint bucket and fill it with that, you get these gross little unfilled pixels um, and they just look nasty. But see on this one that I did um, using my script, it, it preserves the texture of my brush here without getting these nasty ass um, empty pixels. So the way I do this, and I have to preface this by saying you have to do exactly what I'm about to show you because the way action scripts work is they record exactly what you do um, because it's a computer action, you know. Computers only do what you tell them to, ideally. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to build a shape. So I'll just make a circle. And then you want to select outside of the shape um, on a layer that's completely empty except for the shape. Then over here in this window right here, and you can go to window and then select actions. Make sure it's checked so you have this window. Um, go and make a new folder and give it a name if you want and then go in there and make an uh, press this for a new action um, and give it whatever name you want uh, and you want to put it in that folder because I like having mine in folders hit record and then um, you already have this selected you don't want to record selecting it um, then you go select modify expand I have mine to expand by two pixels you can change it differently um, depending on how thick your brush strokes generally are but two pixels I find is the best one for my range where I use a brush that's that's generally between uh, 10 and 20 pixels um, hit OK then select inverse and then uh, you're going to go in with the gradient tool and you want to make sure that it is your foreground color to a transparent background. Um, and then you want to fill it from all four directions. So uh, again, from uh, like going uh, from up to down, down to up, left to right, right to left. And what this ensures is that no matter where on your canvas your shape is, it will get filled. Um, if you don't do this, you will end up with partially filled shapes. Then you select, deselect, and then you hit stop and to stop recording your action. Um, come down here and then you can draw whatever funky shape you want. Even like a couple shapes. I gotta close that. And select it first and then highlight the action. Hit play and it'll do the thing. And there you go. That's how you make an action script for filling in your shit. Um, this is a really small thing that I use all the time. Every single drawing I do, I use this like hundreds of times. It is by far the most, the biggest time saver I've ever thought up for myself. And I'm always really surprised. I've never seen anyone else do this. Um, hope that was helpful. If you'd like to have more mini tutorials like this, um, make sure to let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, and as always, videos like these are always thanks to my patrons on Patreon who support my work and all the weird shit I do. Um, without them, I would not make any videos at all, ever. So if you want to take a look at my Patreon, it's 
patreon.com slash Maya Kern. Uh, yeah, till next time. Bye-bye.